have some work for you. Mm. Is this a bad time? No, 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 not at all. What can I do for you? Um, I think I mentioned Murphy Williamson to you, didn't I do sure. that? Sure. He has decided to donate that land for the Homeless Foundation. Well, congratulations. What's and, this? Well, I just want to make sure that there's no complications, so... I'd be happy to take a look at it. Oh, thank you very much. Sure. I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? I'm fine. Good. I assume you've heard I'm an engaged man. Yes, I did hear that. I was going to say congratulations. Well, how does good luck strike you? Oh, no, come on. I thought you got along with Erica. Well, I still wish you good luck. You don't get along with her. Oh, I do, after fashion. That's not it. What is it? Well, no offense meant. I just think it's a little early to offer congratulations. But I will do that when I hear the wedding march and I see the flowers. Why, oh, so you don't think the wedding's going to happen, is that it? Honestly? Yeah. I'd bet money on it. Not, not Christie's. <laughs> I... Oh, Stuart. Oh. Hi. Hi. How are you? Adam, I wanted to thank you for the beautiful flowers you sent. You sent flowers? Uh, I wondered about that, too. How did you manage that? I... called. Ah. I think that's wonderful that... I mean, that you, that you were able to use the phone. I don't think it's wonderful that you spent money. You can't afford it. I wanted to... You shouldn't have. I don't flowers, and you don't have the money to waste. So let's let it be the last time, all right? Listen, um, it's almost time for your physical therapy, isn't it? Ready. Good. I talked to Cal. He said you're working very hard. That's good. Yes. Well, I, I'll take you down to therapy if it's all right with you. All right. Yes. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm just I assume you would rather Sunday. steer clear of Erica. Well, really yes, what an excellent I idea. Let's get on the elevator. Well, then I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Honey. Elevators never cooperate, do they? Well, if it isn't Adam and Brooke. My goodness, hello, Adam. Well, I certainly hope that you're feeling better. I really do. I mean, this must be a terrible ordeal for you. Nobody deserves to have a stroke, even you. <laughs> I just know you're getting the best of care here. Adam is doing very well. Oh, I can see that. Oh, yes, and with your help, I'm sure he's just going to get better and better. Well, I think it's going to be a great year. As a matter of fact, I'm certainly off to a great start. Oh. Well, I assume that you heard about my engagement to Jack. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, I hope you and Jack are very happy. Oh, that's okay, Brooke. I know it's hard to be the good sport when you're always losing the guy. Oh, please. <laughs> of course, your dates with Jack really didn't amount to much. He dumped you so fast. The truth comes very hard to you, doesn't it? Oh, Brooke, I know that you were hot for Jack. That's okay. I don't blame you. He's a terrific guy. <laughs> and he has such great taste. Certainly in diamonds. I'll tell you something, Adam, I'm just amazed. You know how terrible you've always been to me? All those horrors you put me through in Canada? I really thought that I would always hate you. I did. But you know what? I don't. Not me. It's in the past. I've just put it away. No more grudges, no more little voodoo dolls with pins sticking in them. Nothing. My, what largesse. Well, I can't explain why. I just can't. I mean... Maybe it's just because I'm so deliriously happy with Jack and have a wedding to Where plan. Is the elevator? Or maybe it's just, it's so pathetic. I mean, look at you sitting there in that wheelchair. You can't walk or talk or anything. I guess it's just really so sad. I mean, you're practically non-existent. How could I hate you? Erica, that's enough. Oh, Brooke. Well, now, I was just trying to explain to Adam how I don't wish him any ill. Well, you're making him ill with all this drivel. Well, now, isn't that just like you, always trying to put words in Adam's mouth? Guess now that he can't talk, you've got a full-time job, huh? Adam doesn't need or want your sympathy. Get lost. Well, I don't believe this. I try to be compassionate, and that's what I get?
lucky it is for Adam that you were there to stick up for him. Stuart, anybody would have done that for him. Yeah, no, but it was you that was there, and you did it. That means a lot. Don't make it more important than it was. Maybe you don't see it yet. What? You know. When ice cream starts to melt, it gets a little soft. No, no. No, I am not going to melt. I want Adam to get better, that's it. I don't want to be a part of his life again. But Adam still loves you, he really does. He, I mean, you can see it in the way he looks at you, and you can see it in his eyes. You, he, you're still right there in his heart. Stuart, I don't love him. But hearts are funny things. Sometimes in one little tiny corner of the heart, there's this little piece of love still stuck right in there, and it just won't die, it won't go away. I'm not saying, that, I'm not saying it's going to grow or anything. Just that, well, it's there, and it probably always will be. You have so much tenderness in you, Stuart. I wish your brother had. Oh, he did. He, you, he just isn't very good at showing it. But he's, he's changed, Brooke. He really did, just, just before the stroke, just after he lost all his money. How long do you think that change would have lasted if he hadn't had a stroke? Could be for good. I wish I could believe that. Really? What he did to, to you and to Dixie was terrible. But he suffered a lot of pain. He's, he, he had the stroke, he lost his child, he lost you. A lot of things have hurt him. Stuart, I know that he has suffered, I know that. Don't you, well, don't you think that somebody's gone through all that might change a little? That, that, that going through all that might teach them something that they didn't have couldn't have learned any other way. What do you think it's taught him? That love is the only thing that's important. It's, that's all it counts. Is that something that he says? Yes, he said that, he said that to me today. He, look, he's getting well. Because he looks at you and he wants to get well because he loves you. Oh, Stuart, Stuart. I'm sorry, it's just, but it's the truth. I'll tell you something else that's the truth. I think it would be wonderful, wonderful if you two got back together again. Well, that's never going to happen. Oh, I know. But it, it would be wonderful if it did. Think how happy you might really be, how deep down in your heart happy. <laughs>